All right, this is TRS Coral Cancun. It is nice, like shockingly nice. Much better than TRS Turquesa in Punta Cana. Uh, the property is beautiful. The pool is awesome. And the entry level rooms are the best I've encountered throughout this entire trip. There is, however, a problem. Uh, one major, major problem. This is TRS Coral Cancun. TRS Coral, the adults only TRS Coral. Uh, we are getting right into the video. This room, by the way, is the most complete and possibly the most luxurious room I've had during this entire Cancun stint. However, the weather tomorrow is not supposed to be the best and I think that'd be a better time to bring you up to speed. We have a lot to talk about inside and outside this room, but as of right now, we are getting right into it. I'm off to the most upscale, the most luxurious, and possibly the best restaurant here. I'm off to the French restaurant, La Bohem. Good morning, deja vu all over again befittingly outside the French restaurant where I ended my night last night. Uh, last night's dinner, I'm really glad I got there when I did. I got there at 6 p.m. They just opened, I had the place to myself, but even better than that, uh, the ambient light in there reflected all the class and colors inside. It was a gorgeous experience. The service was exceptional, the food was up to par, and the menu was creative. That chocolate fondant for dessert was the best thing I had all evening. If I had to go back, I would just order three or four of those. I finished my night at the restaurant bar, which it shares with the restaurant on the other side, the Italian restaurant. That place looks stunning as well. I might actually go there for dinner tonight. I had an insanely amazing cappuccino and then that was a wrap for the evening. This morning I woke up and indeed there is rain, but I'm not panicking yet. I'm gonna head to the main lobby bar, hopefully search out a couple more of those cappuccinos. And then after that, we will see. So not all cappuccinos are created equally here at TRS Coral. The ones in the lobby bar weren't nearly as good, not even close, as the ones I had at the French restaurant last night. I did like the sweets in there, especially the uh, chocolate Nespresso-shaped and Punisher-shaped sweets. Those were really cool and really tasty. Uh, the lobby itself and the lobby bar were upscale, palatial, gorgeous, luxurious, also warm and comfortable too. I guess there is a evening entertainment show in there uh, later in the evening specifically for TRS Coral guests so hopefully I can check it out sometime either tonight or tomorrow. Uh, do not ever run out of sunscreen or forget your sunscreen at home it will be a costly mistake. I think I brought five or six cans but I ran out it's week number four for me and I had to buy this at the shop it was $35. Wow that is a costly error. The buffet here is right next to that shop and there was a long line this morning. I'm not sure if that's due to popularity, demand, or because it was raining, uh, but there were a lot of people in line. So hopefully that's a good thing. Hopefully it's amazing. I definitely want to check that out. Uh, it has been raining quite feverishly this morning, but it looks like the sun is trying to poke out. So what I'm going to do is head to the gym, spend a few minutes there, see what it's about. And hopefully by the time I'm done, we can enjoy some sunshine. So at first glance, that gym was really nice. It was spacious, modern, upscale, vibrant, clean, lots of different types of equipment. They even had free weights in there. Uh, there are two problems though. Number one, TRS doesn't have a gym. You have to walk over to the Grand Palladium property. Uh, Grand Palladium is much larger than TRS, exponentially larger. That's problem number two. Uh, usually around noon when the sun is out and at all inclusive, there isn't a soul at the gym. That gym was bustling. I'd be interested to see what it's like sometime in the morning. Oh, today has been a tough one. This, this trip has been a tough one. I've struggled with this weather the entire trip. Since day one, it's been a challenge. Um, I'm here pretty much peak season, but that's never a guarantee in the tropics or in the Caribbean. And I think this trip is a testament to that. Uh, tomorrow is shaping up to be a huge day. It is scheduled to be sunny. We will see on that, but I wanna wake up and do the breakfast buffet. And then I wanna do the beach. Uh, afternoon pool time and then in the evening I want to do some of the nightlife and then finish with the entertainment so tomorrow's gonna be absolutely huge 
Uh, before that, though, I'm going to check out dinner tonight. I'm thinking Italian, and I'm hoping that the food tastes just as good as the place looks. So the Italian place, it was a step down in class and menu, but a step up in comfort and style. Uh, it was very much a different experience, and I think it's a great yin-yang alternative to the French place next door. So it's evening time here, it's about 10 p.m., and there's an entertainment show tonight. There isn't one tomorrow. So while I'm up and while I have the energy, I'm going to head over to the TRS lobby and see what that is about. <laughs> Okay, Buendia, just when you think you have these all-inclusives pegged, when you've seen it all and they are becoming bland, predictable, boring, uh, you get something like that last night. That was unexpected. That was the second most unexpected thing I've ever seen at an all-inclusive, right behind the twerking contest at Sandals Playa Car earlier this year. That was completely out of place. This was mostly out of place. That was completely out of place, but wow, that was uh, provocative. That was uh, intimate. <laughs> Lots of innuendo. But I'll tell you what, it was engaging for sure. It was captivating and it was atypical. And it sort of had a natural pop-up type of feel, kind of like the fire show at Wyndham Ultra. Uh, I think that show last night was designed by the same people at Balenciaga. Wow, it was, uh, it was, it was interesting. L lots of innuendo for sure. But anyway, I, I, it was different and I like that. Uh, let's hit up that breakfast buffet. So the breakfast buffet was actually only half buffet. It was uh, half buffet, half a la carte, it was a hybrid. Uh, the side items were buffet style and then the main entrees were a la carte. Uh, there are benefits and detriments to that setup. The benefits are is that the food is fresh, it's really high quality, it's customizable and delivered to your table specifically for you. Uh, the detriments are is that it takes a little bit longer for you to complete your meal and there isn't much of a selection. The buffet was actually quite small. Personally for me, I like the customizable, bespoke a la carte concept, but I think hardcore buffet people are gonna be a little disappointed in its size. Uh, as of right now, the sun is out. I am not going to lose this day. Let's take a look at the beach. So this is probably my favorite beach up in Costa Mujeres. I've only been to three hotels in this region, but I've been to three heavy hitters, Majestic Elegance, Planet Hollywood, and then here at TRS. Uh, Planet Hollywood's beach was okay, but remember, they did not have any specialized seating for the adults only portion of the hotel, nor S-Class, it was all general population. And the sand here at TRS is much finer, much fluffier, much more sugary soft. Usually this area does not get very windy, but this is the same wind that's been plaguing me throughout this entire trip. I'm trying to visualize this place when it isn't very windy and with calm waters, I think this place would be really, really tranquil. 
there is more than enough seating to accommodate every single person on this property. And there's even kind of makeshift, more private seating back here, more towards the bar. The guys at the bar are fantastic. Their service is exceptional. Um, I just asked for a special drink. They made me a Bob Marley, but they went over the top and even put in the garnish with the little Bob Marley hair. I thought that was a really nice touch. So I really enjoyed my time at the beach. I'm not a big fan of the beaches up here in Costa Mujeres, but this is one that I actually really like. So the pool at TRS Coral is really great. I was disappointed that there's only one, but the one that they have, they nailed. It was the perfect combination of size, style, luxury, and energy. Uh, it was multi-dimensional. There were different levels to it. Uh, lots of angles and edges. It was a super cool place to hang out. Uh, it was spacious. There were different areas. There was a private area, kind of a social area, and an activity area as well. Lots of seating options, standard seating, upgraded cabanas, in pool loungers, which are always a crowd favorite. Uh, there was a food stand out there, a double-sided bar. Uh, I would describe the overall vibe as upscale, serene, laid back with a little bit of electricity. So it was a great place to spend my final afternoon here in Cancun. Uh, it's my last night here at TRS. It's my last night in Cancun. And I am headed to the TRS exclusive restaurant, the Argentinian Steakhouse. And then after that, my plan is to go upstairs to the Sky Bar for a nightcap. You're not gonna believe this. I'm actually, I still can't believe it. I'm still in shock. My meal last night was brutal. It was pretty much inedible. Uh, the steak was like a catcher's mitt. I could barely cut it. And then the, uh, the fries weren't even cooked at all. They're pretty much raw. Uh, the empanadas were fantastic and they really kind of set the tone, at least for my expectations. And then the rest of the meal was bad. The waitress got up to find me after I left and she's like, is everything okay? And uh, I was just nice and said, yeah, I'm just not hungry, but the food was, Oh my God, I can't believe it was that bad. It, it has to be a fluke. There's no way that restaurant could be that popular. Um, there was a line out the door. There was a wait list. Uh, it had a perfect setting right at the end of the property. It was elevated. It overlooked the beach and the ocean. Uh, it was really unfortunate because it was the meal I was looking forward to the most. I starved myself all day for it. And uh, I actually just went to bed hungry, unfortunately. Before I give you my final thoughts on the food, the property, my overall rating, Let's check out this room. The bathroom features a matching rain head shower and water closet. Both have floor to ceiling frosted glass as well as automatic lights. The main area of the bathroom is spacious. It features a dual vanity with external sinks. The accent wall and accent mirrors give it some style and personality. There's a dedicated bathing area with a deep oval jacuzzi tub. There's an ottoman right next to it for keeping important things or people close by. Uh, when you get into the main area, the king size bed is plush and supportive. It has a very luxurious pillow assortment. Uh, the living area has a desk, a dining area, uh, a stylus sectional sofa, a large TV, and floor to ceiling windows. But really the best part of the room is the oversized balcony. Uh, it has multiple seating options that offer gorgeous views of the beach, the ocean, and Isla Mujeres. The basic rooms at Terrace Coral, just the standard cheapest ones are phenomenal. And for the money, I can't think of a better one at any all-inclusive that I've been to. So the room itself is a reason to stay at TRS Coral and another big reason is the pool. I do wish there was a secondary pool, one that had an alternate experience than the main one, but I am enthralled with the main pool here at TRS Coral. It's one of my favorites. 
And I think a last big reason to stay here would be there's no BS. There are no upsells. There are no additional charges. Everyone gets a phenomenal room. Everyone gets butler service. The alcohol selection is decent. You get access to all the restaurants. It's so refreshing to come to an all-inclusive where there are not any upsells or additional or exclusive options. Everything is included here at this property. TRS Coral has a lot going for it, but it's far from perfect. It definitely has some flaws, and they are perhaps fatal flaws. The first one is the food. Now, this is not the most egregious flaw, but it is inconsistent. You really have to poke your way around the room service menu. Some is okay to pretty good, and some is extremely regrettable. Also, my meal at the Argentinian Steakhouse was abhorrent. It was grotesque. It was one of the worst meals I've ever had in my life. I could only take a few bites of the entire experience. I stand by everything I said about the French restaurant and the Italian restaurant. Those were very positive experiences, but the inconsistency with the room service and the Argentinian steakhouse is something to note. TRS Coral's location is even worse than its food. It's up in Costa Mujeres. And although the water is kind of tranquil up here and it's more serene, uh, it is extremely isolating. There's absolutely nothing to do outside the confines of the property. You will not find any restaurants, lounges, markets, barbershops, nothing. And lastly, and most importantly, it's barely a resort. I'm not even sure some would call it a resort. It's more like an adults only section of Grand Palladium than it is a standalone hotel. Just like Ibero Star has the coral level for adults and Majestic Elegance has Elegance Club, uh, this is really kind of an adults only option for Grand Palladium. There isn't a dedicated gym or spa. Any true and legitimate nightlife and entertainment options are gonna be over at Grand Palladium. The coffee shop is over there, and although there are a decent amount of restaurants on site at TRS Coral, you will be going over to Grand Palladium all the time. Because it's undersized, because it lacks options, because it's really only a resort and name only, uh, I got bored after two nights. And those looking to be active, those looking for a true adults only experience, are going to find themselves disappointed with what they can do on property at TRS Coral. Even with those potentially fatal flaws, I'm giving TRS Coral a four. It is so much nicer than I ever expected. It really is the epitome of modern luxury in an all-inclusive boutique setting. And if one could get past its severely limited options as well as its isolated location, it could be a great choice for an all-inclusive resort in Cancun.